I was thinking about this the other day and I noticed a huge misconception when it comes to lenses in landscape photography. Now, if you've bought a really wide angle lens recently and are disappointed with the results you're getting, you're not alone. Now, there is one thing you can do to stop you thinking that you have to send this lens back. I think most of us have done this in the past. You get to a location, you see this big wide open landscape, so you break out the wide angle lens, take a shot, and then wonder what you're doing, whether you're any good at it, and you might end up thinking that I might as well sell all my camera kit and take up tennis. Well, maybe not take up tennis, but you know what I mean. Now, if this does sound like you and you think you've made a wrong decision in buying a wide angle lens, it's not that it's useless for landscape, it's just that you haven't been shown how to use it in the right way. And I'll show you what I mean. So if I get my wide angle lens out and take a shot of this landscape, if you look at this shot, you can see it's quite boring. From up here to my eye, this view looks fantastic, but on a wide angle lens, it really doesn't. So I'm gonna show you what lens will work at a location like this a little bit later on in the video. But for now, I've got to find a location that works really well with this wide angle lens. So to find a better subject for a wide angle lens, I have to come to a place like this. So the waterfall in the background is about 15 feet away, which is about five meters. And this is around about four foot. And with that wide angle lens, I can get everything in. I don't have to worry. And this gives a really nice shot with a sweeping S-Bend through it. Now, if I was here with a 24 millimeter on a full frame camera or a 16 millimeter on an APS-C camera, that's when I'd struggle to fit everything in. And if I step back a little bit, it would just change the perspective. Now you can also be in a location like this. It's a big landscape, but it's tall and Triven in the background is really dominating. And this is where that wide angle lens really comes in handy. I want this river in the foreground that's gonna be quite close to the camera in the frame. If I had a 24 millimeter lens, that just wouldn't work. Now this is what I mean about using it as almost a close up lens. I've got this foreground element, which is this waterfall really close to me. It's probably two meters away from the front of the camera. So that's the close up element. And Triven in the background is absolutely huge. It's dominating the skyline and it's not a long wide open vista. It's a big dominating vista. And this is where the wide angle lenses are absolutely fantastic. Think of it as a close up lens for your foreground when you're going for that foreground, mid ground, background element, or when the subject is really domineering and you can't fit it all in the frame. Now I think I've got a good shot in this location, so I'm just gonna hunt around to see what else I can find, but I'm gonna carry on using that wide angle lens in this location because this scene is just fantastic. And because it's so big, I can get that foreground element in without shrinking down Triven in the background. So that was actually two different shots in case you hadn't noticed. One with a long exposure and one with a much shorter exposure. Now when you are in front of a big wide open landscape, the best thing to break out is a telephoto lens. I've got my RX10, which is a full frame equivalent of 24 to 600. So it's a massive range. But let's say you've got the 100 to 400, the 70 to 200 or the 200 to 600 on a full frame. This is a really good lens to start to pick out those details in that landscape. So 
So what I'm doing is zooming in to different parts of this landscape and grabbing those parts. Today, the most interesting part are the light beams, but other times you'll have interactions with that light and the landscape. So there might be a tree that stands out, there might be a building that stands out, anything where you can pick out part of the landscape, isolate it from everything else, and photograph it in an interesting way. This is when you'll get some really nice shots from a big open landscape like this. You can shoot wider, but in zooming in, you'll get some amazing photographs. So the next time you're out doing some landscape photography, think about how close you are to your subject. Is it a sweeping landscape or is it right in front of you? If it's a close-up, choose the wide angle lens. If you're really far away and it's a big sweeping landscape, that's when it's time to break out the telephoto lens. Now, if you're already making wise lens decisions, you need to think about composition in your landscape photography. And if this is the case, click on this video next. In it, I show you everything you need to know about composition. <sighs> Got there.